What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Weird the Weird Wars podcast. You can't hit the quarterback, Bro, man. Look into the Elms. Take your wife there on the weekend. Thank me later. The Elks Lodge? Elms. Breaker, breaker, one night. Are you fucking ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. We starting now. I'm making sure everybody's good to go, man. Was it 111? Yep. I've what? been good to go. Uh-huh. Why is it 111? Because last week was 110. I just had to make sure. I just range. need to make sure, man. Addition. I need to, man. Plus I need to resay plus one. <laughs> I need to resay my line again, man. But I don't know when to use it. I'm just okay. All right. Not this week. What up? What up? What up? Welcome to Weird Ones Podcast. I go by the name of Keenan. We got Johnny in the building. What it do? We weird. got Lendary in the we're building. We're the Weird Ones. We're podcast. the Weird Ones. Oh, I'm he be messing bit. up, bro. <laughs> Maybe we, I'm tired of doing What did you <laughs> We are a one take what podcast up, What up what up no, we Welcome no to retakes. We're the Weird Ones podcast Episode 111 We got Johnny in the building What did he do We have Lindari in the Present. building Present And we have Christopher in the building Yo How are you guys up? feeling today I'm You feeling be good. You I'm be cutting off good. When I be trying to react well, You always cut me off Well shut up When you I'm still talking fit, Right <laughs> <laughs> Man, man. Oh my uh, god, today is let me be talk, crazy, man. Bro. <laughs> Happy football Sunday, guys. That's a fact. Man. Happy football Sunday. You can, yeah. you can, you can, you can feel the energy, bro, of football. I like when you see people, it, especially with all these bets I got in. Johnny's updating his iPad That's in the pod, too. so he cannot Google anything at the moment. That's a fact too. We it's need to. We, Johnny should just not touch his iPad. He should not. Like, like this nigga updates, watch movies, movies. <laughs> movies. playing music. First of all, <laughs> why is you niggas worried about what I'm doing over here? <laughs> I get a privacy once you screen. Niggas, once you niggas do what y'all supposed to be doing, I, and let me do what I'm supposed. Why well, turn the doing. iPad to where I can't yeah, see it? Yeah, like, why your fucking business? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it was kind of like you were showing me something. Like, I know the black levels activate at this degree. <laughs> well, y'all so new. How's everybody feeling this week, man? Great. Good. Great. Yeah, about good, to win man. some money today. Win some money today? No money yep. right now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I was helpful that my 19 parlay hit too, but it ain't looking good. I told you, the, 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 the secret to betting, I'm going to tell y'all. Don't plan to spend the money because when you plan oh, on it, planning to spend the money, <laughs> but if it hit though, <laughs> when you plan the, the nineteen parlay hit, it was woo. <laughs> when you plan, bro, it's over. My nineteen I remember, probably dead. I, remember, I got an eighteen uh, too. I remember I put in like I put hey, in all my parlays up. might be over. At these clowns lose. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all bro, doing out here? I put oh, in the fuck. They gonna think what, like what are you looking back? I at? know. I, I put know. in. I, I remember I used to put in lineups like yeah, nigga, this the house, this the G wagon right here. Wait, what score this game? <laughs> 14-10. Well, if he makes that, I swear to God, if they lose, Chris, you got you got to give me back my money, bro. I'm not playing. If I was playing, we'd be winning. Nah, this is your team. What position? Quarterback. Shit. Quarter boy. I mean, Trey Lance is doing a good job. I'm just just at, like that at, much better at forty. Mm-hmm. At forty. Brady playing at forty five. Nah, you ain't. We already established he Brady. You ain't Tom. We already established. Kind of say that and that. That's kind of crazy, bro. Brady forty five. It's yeah. like he been playing forever, nigga. You forty? Yeah. Because he have. It's, Damn. it's crazy to hear that your boy is forty, ain't it? Damn. It's, yeah. It's crazy. All due respect, I gotta man. Get my booty hole checked, man. We just discovered that. We just discovered that. You probably should tell people what we do. What you talking about? <laughs> That sounds crazy. I thought that happened at 50, man. Why y'all didn't tell me? We did. That's how you know now. I know, but like, like earlier, after before. After Chadwick Bozeman died. Yeah, they, you're right. They upped right. it, bro. I don't want that to happen, so. No, yeah. they bro, they didn't up it after he died. It's been up. No, I thought it was 50 until I always then. thought it was 40. They probably just start talking about it more than he's like, oh, oh, shit. Man, I wonder, like, do it be sore, like, afterwards? Like, it depends on wow. what, how big of a ride he put in, you <laughs> boy. <laughs> Ask for a girl, bro. Y'all got problems. Like, nigga, y'all, y'all this- want a girl to see you like that? I don't know, bro. <laughs> nigga, don't know. Be in there, set up like a turkey on Thanksgiving. They gonna put him in the stirrups, man. God damn, no. <laughs> no, I mean that's how they. That's how they uh, douche. Oh my wake, god! Wake, wake my nigga up, man. Yeah. Come on, man. 
God. Which, which probe? Gonna, he, it'll be like, which probe did he pick? The 18 millimeter. <laughs> He's going to bend me over the table. He nasty. He's getting crazy and crazy. All right, I know it's bad because he ain't saying <laughs> I'm like, y'all take shit too far, man. Oh, because you've already done this, right? Yeah. Did they put you in stirrups? No. He had a colonoscopy. Oh. He didn't get his prostate checked. He had a colonoscopy. Did you, what, did you wake up face down or? <clears throat> no, you just wake up in a room in a bed like, can't believe you didn't buy me a drink first. Wake up with a glaze, donut glaze on your leg. Oh, Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Like, turn around like who undid my shit? <laughs> They're like, here go a gift card to Chili's, man. You took him out to dinner after? No, nah, I felt oh. like they should have took me out to dinner. <laughs> mm. All right, so today is uh the twenty first anniversary of nine eleven. Happy anniversary. No, it's no, not, it's not a happy anniversary. Sorry, anniversary. Sorry on, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, man. All right, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, that shit That's not funny, bro <laughs> Jesus Christ I can't podcast with y'all <laughs> Do y'all remember that day? For that alone I should get up Yeah, I think yeah, everybody I Remember I that do. day I remember I was trying to kick me out of the school I was, was in home at class yeah, I was freshman you was we were in senior, yeah. class. I was in history class Yeah, we was in senior I, day. I was in Cleo Washington's <laughs> office Because you didn't live in the district They were trying to kick me out of school Because I didn't live in the district Cleo Washington Yeah I woke he told up. me I wasn't gonna be shit, that and nigga, I was his neighbor. I walked into that nigga's mm. office that day. The towers of smoke in my nigga. I walked into this nigga's office. He had a stack of envelopes like the size of the fucking towers. <laughs> <on my desk>. <laughs> <laughs> he the like, size of the towers, son. That's where you live? I told him my uncle's address. You know, said he was like, "No, you don't." I'm like, "Yes, I do." He was like, "Then why all this mail come back?" I'm like, bro, you worried about this mail? These towers on fire and shit? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, quit playing with me, son. Nah, I, it's kind of messed up that they bring you in the office. Like, you can control where you live at that point. They just need answers. They sure. don't care where they get them from. I guess. They just need answers. But uh, the same thing to my little brother. I was off work that day. Off I work. woke up, saw the news, and then I went and bought the greatest album in history. Two, two, good, two good albums. What was the other album? Ghetto Fabulous. I just oh, talked oh, about it on the corner. God nah, damn it. I wouldn't worry about that. But the blueprint. The blueprint. I went in and bought that. You know, I didn't know it was going to be the greatest album in history. Did you go to work that day? He was at school. After work. Oh, oh yeah. I don't, oh, I don't, I don't recall, Wendy's? actually. He was at Wendy's, too? He was too? at Wendy's, yeah. yeah. I, ain't I don't no recall. I just remember, day. like, you being at home at class, all the teachers going crazy, like, oh, we might have to get up on the desk and shit like that. They crashing planes into shit. And I was thinking, why would they crash a plane in the center? <laughs> That's what I was on But That's then true. I definitely Used that later on that day Yeah but like You know I back- didn't go to work that day Cause I was like They might crash a plane Into this McDonald's bro I can't have it oh, <laughs> well, and then, When it was all going on You really didn't know It was kind of like Oh a plane hit this tower And he was like Oh this pilot yeah, Must be true. drunk Yeah. Then it was like true. A second plane Then it was like Oh something's going on Then it was like Oh you know Everybody's like What do we do Do we send kids home What Do we, do we stay in the classrooms Yeah. Did we get on the desk? I'm just like, why would they crash a plane in the center? We finished the whole day, big fella. Yeah. Then I was thinking like, damn, I got to drive to middle school and pick my brothers up because mm. the buses wasn't going to run. I don't know. It was a whole cluster fuck. I think everybody remember where they were on 9-11, but 21st anniversary. Sucks. I think it was about 2,500 people lost their lives that day mm-hmm. in total. That's it? I thought it was more than that. No, it was about 2,500. Do y'all remember when uh, the clip when George W. found out? Oh, in the classroom? When he was reading that book? Yeah. His, he was like, what the? Yeah. It, Get these little niggas out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, like, that clip just tell you, like, the president be hearing some crazy shit all the time because that, they came and told him that in his ear, and my man didn't flinch. Yeah. He was like. You can see on his face, though. It's like On his face, he was like, hmm, that's yep. crazy. Yeah. And he did his thing, swept him up <clears> out of there. He was like, yo, we got we to gotta bomb somebody. Yeah. Ooh, the air feel good. You know Johnny got that A1. Yeah. Also, big news this week, Queen Elizabeth II passed away at 96 years old after 70 years on the throne. This I one, got so many jokes. Black about Twitter this, was like, I don't even need Black Twitter for my jokes, bro. We already know a, somebody fool. tell Stacey Dash that this happened. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that she know. <laughs> nah, but 70 years, I was like, that's crazy. My whole life she's been a queen. Yeah. Ooh, Both of your lives. Much. Yeah. Like, shit, I've never known nothing different. Yeah, rest in peace, man, I guess. It was a big deal, I man. said she was racist. That's what I heard. I don't know, because I'm not into that shit yeah. like Bro, that. Bro, hold on. First You're off, not into racism? No, nah, like, I'm You're not, not into, into like, racism. Are you into racism? No, I'm just saying that's what he said. Like <laughs> That's not what I said. Well, he said she was a racist, and you said I'm not into that. I said I don't know, because I'm not into that shit like that. 
Uh, like royal, the royals? The yeah. royal stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. Because we don't do queen, queen and kings over here. Well, I'm a king. You a king. Oh, it's, he yeah. put it on his arm. Yeah, yeah, you right. And he put it on Twitter. And you I got right. a crown tattoo on my leg, too. Oh, okay. There's kings everywhere around here. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. I'm just saying, but. So I'm a king, too, then. No. You'll see Riley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we're throwing ants out here, okay? <laughs> but yeah, like people were upset though. Black people are not liking other black people, like being sad about this woman being dead. Really? Yeah, it is. Boy, they calling him uh, Stephen from what's the name? See, I don't, man? I don't be online enough to see that. Yeah, I know. So I'm like, <laughs> that's, no, that's why I gotta tell you. you should be. Oh. <laughs> that's why I gotta tell you. What, wait, what they say? Like, not like. You know, you just scroll through your timeline and you'll see a meme. It's like, whenever I see black folks on my timeline, sad because Queen Elizabeth did die. And then it'd be a picture of Stephen. Like, what was the dude's name? Mr. Candy. Yeah. What did he call him? Steve? Or what did he call him? Uh, <laughs> what was that nigga name when he yelled out at the end? I don't even remember. But whatever he, when he screamed out, they got that picture of Stephen on there. Like, this Damn. is what I think of you. What are we talking one. about? Stephen who? You never seen Django? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, oh, you really haven't seen Django? That's crazy. That's a real I mean, movie. Yeah, good movie. I don't watch the racist movies like that. That's I feel you don't want to see your people getting fucked up like that in this movie because they get <laughs> <laughs> I have seen that part. No, I saw that I saw the part where he's hit, where he's hitting him with the whip. I've seen that I've seen oh, the no, highlights of the movie. That's the part. Oh, yeah, yeah. They found I've the Brittle seen, Brothers. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't know no, when people Jamie were upset Fox about the queen dying. White dude you know, with the whip. That's crazy. Leonardo. I just figured yeah. like yo, the queen I mean, died. I've seen parts of the movie, a lot of history worth mentioning. I didn't know I'd get like crucified for it. No, shit. I'm not crucified. I don't. You feel how you feel. You well, I mean, I don't feel either way. Like she ain't never bought me no drink. That's fair. I'm just telling you what I seen on me social media this week is pretty pretty. Were y'all sad? I was not sad. It was an update on my phone, and I swiped to get it away. Honestly, I thought she was older. How Did old? I thought she was six? like already like 105. Because <laughs> no, no. my, my joke for like the last at least 10 years has been like, I know her son is pissed. Like, oh, yeah. She's just, been waiting to be she just yeah. hanging out, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So do, you think, so do you think he got the Brian Busby complex like he got? Bro, this <laughs> like, nigga like, Like man, just dot so I, I can't can be believe king. my mom is just living out here. Now. So he was like, Simba, can't wait to be king. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for he's, What is he, 75? <laughs> he old. I read a- Wait, I, Prince Charles? Wait, ain't Prince Charles? Charles yeah, yeah Charles. he's like 70-something. Is I got a bunch to say about yeah. this. We're gonna be here for a minute. Okay, man. I'm we, sorry. we'll, we'll I'm do sorry. a little bit here. What I'm you got? Sorry. But right. she she lived a, a good life, a good long, a long life. Yeah, life. yeah. But I've heard that he been waiting so long. It was a a press release. He been waiting so long. He like I don't even want it no more, man. Get to my son. Mm. He trying to pass it to William. Damn. <laughs> I mean, like. It ain't like it's the greatest job. My nigga, I'm just saying. My nigga been sitting in his room listening to 50 Cent. Like, I've shit. been patiently yeah, waiting for a track. <laughs> but then we just had a... This fact was dropped on me last night. Fucking draw dropping. Jaw dropping fact right here. What is Draws it? Draws dropping? Jaw. Oh, okay. Oh. Queen Elizabeth, right? Okay. Her husband was Duke, whatever his name was, right? Yep. It was her third cousin. Oh. oh, I'm not shocked about that. That's fucking crazy. Nah, I that's, mean, eventually they run out of like. That's uh, why Charles looks stupid. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the views of Johnny Howard did not. <laughs> that's his daddy and his mama and his cousin. Oh, but you know, man. eventually they're gonna oh, run they out of like noble they, families to marry into. They on some shit. Game of Thrones shit. Yeah, like that. that that's why he looks stupid like that. Man, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't figure it out one day. <laughs> I don't think they do that no more, though, man. Whatever. No, nah, I mean, <laughs> apparently not. You know, I don't think Kate and uh, Megan, is that, a, I think her name, Megan Markle? No, nah, that's the Chancellor of Germany, ain't it? No, Megan, Megan Markle is old Mary, boy's wife. Is the, it? The little yeah. boy, the younger son. Are you sure? Harry. Jada, can you fact check that for us? I, I know that. You don't have to fact check that. Megan Markle. Who is Megan Markle? Harry. So she Jaden's did. Parks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Megan just married Harry. And that's when, like, the racist stuff came out because they was like, oh, was Megan's the, the black chick? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I don't. I don't follow this shit, man. Man, I'm gonna have to pull it up, man. This shit's funny. What are you looking at? Nah, some of the memes, bro. Ah, oh, the memes was crazy. The memes was funny. Was it was rolling. a chick. She was like, "There's a girl, the queen died." She was like, "Oh no, Latifah." <laughs> <laughs> she was, oh, like, yeah, she was like, "No, that's funny." Mary J. Blige, so, no. Look him, no. Just went through a whole line of women and was like, Queen Elizabeth was like. 
bitch, who is that? <laughs> I guess Clay Thompson's dad has like a, a Twitter, I think it was. And he posted something about that. He said, like, you know, uh, the only queen I recognize is something that's, uh, God damn it, Aretha Franklin or something like that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he, he had a bunch of shit on there. He was going back and forth with people all day and shit like that. And then he's like, uh, you know, the queen's going to get to heaven. God's going to say, who is it? She's going to say the queen. God's going to say, like, uh, Aretha Franklin's already here or something like that. I seen one. It was like a. Princess, it was like somebody had Princess a steal. Diana. Princess yeah. Diana slamming yeah. doors on her. <laughs> that's the one. That's kind of like what I saw. It was like a hood fight. Somebody took a picture of. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, it was a girl getting grounded pounded. They had the queen. And then the girl doing the grounded pounding. They had oh, Diana, Diana. And then they had somebody on, in the grass taking the picture. Taking the picture yeah. And that was uh, Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> so, but y'all should make light if somebody passed yeah, away. Yeah, that's man. what my wife said, man. You shouldn't joke about dead people. Man. I'm like 96 but, years yeah. old. Like, come on. Like, it was coming. Like, you, you had a good life. It's coming yeah. for everybody. Yeah, yeah you can't I mean, live forever. I hope I get 96. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. He about to start on one around here, big boy. What's that? Wow. We're not paying attention to that. We so not, the 49ers not is losing. Around. Man, Football's not. back, y'all. Wait, hold on, man. It's y'all y'all talk about something. I got to check my right parlay. It's all my picks right here. God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, hey. All my little free money. Hey, gone. when a nigga prints the bridge, he gets nose. <laughs> <laughs> He's stressed. All right, let's All right, man. Let's go, Look, man. Enough of this. Let's keep ball. rolling. Okay. So rapper Mystical. Oh, this nigga. Yeah, oh, has been indicted again for first degree rape and is facing mandatory life in jail. Mystical, bro. What are you doing? Like, I don't understand. You, I, I think you're doing this shit for real. <laughs> the first time you was like, you know, well, cause I'm, dude, the first time he's been indicted before for rape before. He did. He went to jail. jail. And that wasn't for tour. rape though. That was for like some sex. It was some sexual shit. It was sodomy where he had to register as a sex offender. But he's actually been indicted for the same like exact crime, rape, looking at life, and he beat that one in like 2017, I think it was. And then went on tour. Hmm. But dude, oh, you can't just be getting in. You know, like I don't know. That seems like that type of shit just don't just come up often around people. Like, yeah, he he got indicted for rape. You all right over there? <laughs> My nigga red is his head. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you all right over here, man? Did they score? Not yet. My boy, pending. I'm like a <laughs> <laughs> it's pending though. God damn. <laughs> But no, Miss Cool, he's 51, and he's facing nine other charges God, relating to this incident charges. that happened in uh, July. If he's convicted, it's a mandatory life sentence. Because he's a repeat offender? Uh, it didn't say why it was a mandatory life sentence. It just said mandatory life sentence. Mm -hmm. And this dude's already, already a registered sex offender, so I feel like you should be walking on eggshells, Miss Cool. But nah, you out here allegedly... Still taking pussy. I don't even understand why he would do that. I would imagine that mystical is a big thing in New Orleans. Right. So he was already a sex offender? Yeah, because he, yeah. yeah, he went to jail like, he just for beat this. like a sexual assault. In, or not beat it. He went to jail. Sexual assault, yeah. like sodomy case. He was in jail for like quite a while. Six years. Man, know what's what's yeah. sodomy again? He taking the ass. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean that sums up. I was trying to okay. figure out how to put that in a better term, but and, and, that's it exactly. Yes. yes, it is. Okay, okay. So he had another sexual assault case in 2017, and uh, I guess he got off on that one. Then he had, uh, let me see, let me see. No, he spent 18 months in jail. He bonded out. Then they dropped the charges or some shit. And then he had the other one where he ended up going to jail for six years or something like yeah. that. So, dude, like. First off, you're not even good at this shit. What, why are you doing that? I'll still go crazy. back to what I was just saying. I would imagine that he's a big deal in the world. Like, I don't think it's got anything to do with it. Just like if, if that's think, your thing, you probably just get off on that shit. I think I, th I don't know because I don't. I'm not. That the big. only way I rationalize it was that maybe when he was no limit and had his run, it was easy for him. You know what I'm saying? I think he just didn't understand that the chicks that he's looking at nowadays don't really probably don't know who you are and you are just taking it. But you can still like, go like find like a bad. Like, you can like, still get like, like no, but he's like he's like dealing with losing his fame or something. That's what I was trying to say. Like Mr. Cook can go find like a bad forty year old. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Miss Cook was still performing though, so I mean, like it wasn't. I bet the people down there knew. Oh, that's Miss Cook. Yeah, that's so it true. wasn't like that's he was true. like, oh, you just treat me like any Joe Bob, and I feel nah, bro. You just know. like taking pussy. It sound like oh, well, you keep referring it that way. So yeah, it's a little harsh. Because that's what he's doing. Get him up out of there. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Y'all can get that motherfucker the chair. Mm. Oh, okay. 
I, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. That might be like your hardest stance I've ever seen. You Rape have is like the the lowest. That's that. like lowest the lowest stand. thing you can do as a man. Allegedly, yeah, I would say so. I, no, I ain't it's no right down there it. with beating on kids and shit. Yeah, it's like one of the lowest things you can do. Cool. Beating on kids, yeah, like just fucking them up. Like if people are abusing kids, <clears throat> I don't really have much room for them either. I'm like, no, you, you get them get out your ass too. beat too. But nah, Mexico, bro. It's one thing I don't fuck, man. Dang, bro, you're distraught over here. This is because crazy. I'm like, dude. It seemed like if you if you did something in your life, like people make mistakes, you would try to better yourself, turn your life around, walk a different path. But like every path this dumbass walk, he get accused of rape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like, man, yeah. man. pretty trash human. How's that even possible? Hey, man. Like you said though, when it's seen you, it's seen you though. Type deal. He missed another yeah, one. That's what, <laughs> I don't know. No, you know what I'm saying. Though. No, I hope I hope you. Uh, if you, it's true, bro, yeah, you done. You out here for life, and it's uh, over for you, bro. We won't be able to play your music no more. I heard it on the radio not that long. What was that? Let's go. I thought it was like yesterday. Um, I hope you didn't pop your head to it. At first, I was, but nah. then I'm like, oh no, he racist. I mean, rapists. <laughs> racist. <laughs> rapists. <laughs> One of them are just letting these things go to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, a it was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> Shut up, letting them fly. Oh yeah, wow. All right, Mesco, you out of here. <laughs> He's safe. <laughs> All right, what score that game, Chris? Nineteen to ten. Man, stop, man. He's already hurting, dude. I he I got four hundred fifty dollars on the line this week. Oh, you you degenerate for real. All my little free money about to be gone because this punk ass team. <laughs> <laughs> he still got time. No, I don't. They still got time. I ain't got no faith in them fucking bums. It's almost three o'clock, so I know that game almost over. Oh my god, they ain't got much time. Seven minutes left. All right, man. Let's go talk about Ray J. I can't believe you, Chris. I can't. Ray J. Take that fucking jersey off. This is ridiculous. It's just week one. Let's roll. So Ray J. Let's calls ride. out Kim Kardashian, <laughs> her mom, Chris. Uh, he said he's on a mission to clear his name after all these years. Who's on a mission to clear? His Ray name? J. is trying to clear his name. For one, I believe him too. The sex I'm tape gonna jump shit. out there and say, I believe. Um, him. When was the sex tape shit, man? Huh. 2000? 2000. 2000? Ish. So we like 15 uh, years later, we still talking about show. This. They got the original Kardashian show because of the sex tape. Oh, and that okay. was like in 2000. He's our resident Kardashian. Yeah. So what's they up? Like, oh, yeah, I forget. did like 20 yeah. years. Yeah. Okay, 2000? so. It was like 2000. No. I'm not going to say Ray J's on like a rampage. Let me, let me Google, we gotta Google that. Let me Google we gotta Google Parks, that. when was the Kardashian show? I got it. No, I know when that. I know they did 20 years. He they not helping us. No, he not. No, he not. So Ray not. J's on the war path, and all this started from Kris Jenner. She went on a late night talk show, and she took a lie detector test mm-hmm. where they asked her if she had anything to do with the sex tape leaking. She replied, no. 2007, sir. And they said that was true. So they she did not lie. Uh, allegedly, allegedly did not, she did not lie. lie. And well, Ray, J, Ray J didn't like that shit. Well, yeah. Ray J came out like... Take it away, Johnny. Yeah, because I seen this video <laughs> and that shit was crazy. Ray J came out, said she was she took a flawed lie detector test. And then he showed basically like what yeah, these receipts. young folks would call receipts. He had the receipts. The receipts. He had like the original contract that she had him sign to like sell the sex tape so it's like her name Kim's name his name all on like a legal document mm. he had um, he said he just started going at it now he like we filmed three of them yeah. but then she told me that we chose the first one because she didn't like the or she liked the way her daughter looked in it can we pause and right he's like there, you man. watched it like you mean you watched he, it he said she watched three day <laughs> sex tapes yeah. right yeah that's kind of sick and bro. she was like this one right here, I don't like the way like you pulling her hair and shit. Yeah. This one right here. Have y'all seen this sex tape? Of course. Oh, I've yeah. seen it back then. It was then. low key trash, honestly. But I don't to know her, that was like the best yeah, light. She's like, okay, trash. this sex tape, this one right here, I like the lighting. Yeah. Okay. You, yep. I like the way she take dick right there. This is it. That was the one. <laughs> yeah. That's that's, that's pretty crazy. Saying. Could though. you watch your child have sex? Keenan, fuck no. Why would you ask that? <laughs> like, like, how do you do that? <laughs> I, I almost jumped on you, bro. Like, <laughs> how do you do that? That's what I was, that tells me a lot like, about my my daughter her mom. can go up, grow up, have kids, and in my mind, she's still a virgin. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> so y'all just adopting babies now? Yeah, like, I'm like my crazy. daughter is married now. 
Huh? Like Mary, like the one that had Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's my, married. My daughter yeah, Mary. I'm like, oh. So you just fat. She's like, no, I'm pregnant. Like, no, you fat because you don't have sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't have sex. And then a baby come up like, y'all just adopted. Yeah. But I'm, you Chris, never Chris had Jenner's over here looking at sex tapes like, who taught you how to suck dick? <laughs> I was about to say, like, I didn't teach you that. Yeah. I didn't teach you like that. You should have did it like this. You think she jumped in and showed him, showed her, like this like, is how you do uh, it? No, I don't nah, think. I, don't think, I think Ray, Ray J. J yeah. I think Ray J would have knocked her down too. No way. Ray J. Like wow. twenty years ago, Chris, yeah. he probably would have. I don't her think down. so, man. I think he would have. Nah, yeah. he'd have probably like just why don't you get one of your that's sisters na- in here? That's a nasty night. You gotta think like that's Ray J. Nasty in two thousand seven, so fifteen years ago, Chris would be like in her forties. He would have did it. I don't. Yeah. Think, I'm. A, I'll, I got faith in Ray J. I don't think he'd have did it. Maybe in her fifties, but he would have did it for sure. What are you basing his faith in Ray J. Is. on? Uh, he just a real dude. Can't I think he Ray J. Really a real nigga. Yeah, he would definitely hit her. No, nah. he I, don't, I don't think Ray J. would have been a guy that would be like. We didn't see. Yeah, your mom's scenes. could be in here and direct this shit. He showed her the tapes. I, I feel like that's different after the fact. That's like crazy. you know, it ain't shit to put the camera over there and do your thing. But like, you know, what happens to it now? As long as the check come back, but I don't know if Ray J's in the room and she's like, no, no, put put your leg up and shit. I wouldn't be surprised. They hit harder like that. So she directed it. <laughs> I wouldn't be nah, surprised. No, she uh she edited it. You know what I'm saying? Like when they wrote the clips at the end, she's up on there like, like executive, executive editor producer. and shit. Uh-huh. Chris Jenner PGA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you know she probably showed it to the other daughters too to get that opinion. That's crazy. Wow, that's wild. Like, hey. We, I think this we're gonna blow up. Which they all it did what it did though. Time, though. They, I mean, I've seen episodes all the time where Chloe's like, "Thank God for my sister selling a sex tape," or "Thank yeah. God my, for my sister like referring back to the tape." Like, I'm glad she did what she did. I would too. To see where we at? Now. Like, it's the, the whole family blew up off of that. Like, going if you look back I at get it, it, but she, and you ask them what they do the same thing again, I bet they will buy a better camera. They well, had the best camera they could have like, back yeah. then, 2007. Like, you only had so many pixels back then. No, I bet they would go like full studio production. Like, if, if we know what this is going to do, it's going to be the like the best of the best. They have features and shit, probably. Mm-hmm. They would have features? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when this first all can't start coming out, though, it was because uh, Ray J had was saying, Ray J had already said, like, yo, she was behind all of this. And then uh, she was like, no, I'm not. But then, like, reports were starting to come out that she had just divorced their daddy. So she was, like, starting to feel like, how am I make it now? And this was like the bing. So mm. That's the fucking shit. I so, when, so, when, so when Kim was crying on the phone and was happy that Kanye got the other sex tape. That was, like, the third one, I guess. Because oh. <laughs> it's three of them. Three of them. Ray J did it three times. Three times. Yeah. Three yellow men. Yeah. yeah. But Nicky came in the mask last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that the next thing? <laughs> but I saw that they was talking now, Ray J and uh, Kanye. I mean, shit. Y'all, y'all just, Bro, y'all did y'all like, see the... Fuck us both over. Yeah, like, y'all telling stories now. I don't did know. y'all yeah, see over. the meme? Like, you know, because uh, Beats came out with those those uh, pros, like the, the skin tone pros. It was like brown, light brown, um, peach. <laughs> so they had a picture of Kanye, Ray J, and Pete. Oh, uh, I did see those. I did see that. I did see that. Man. They said she got her hand in hip hop now. Yeah, I did see that. Man. <laughs> uh, anyway, you know. So you think Ray J's clearing his name, or is he just saying shit that we already knew? So that's why I feel like. I How you clearing your well, name? He's clearing his name because she just took a lie detector test. So it's like, yeah. yo, if I take a if, if anybody watches her take this lie detector test and like, oh, she passed, so Ray J must be lying. Yeah, exactly. So he's clearing so his like name that, from the like, lie detector test. Is what you're asking? So like, when you heard she passed this lie detector mm-hmm. test, like, well, you, you didn't. No, in my brain, I feel like I thought it was common fact that we all knew. Like, bitch, y'all made a sex tape and you sold it. Yeah, like I, I didn't think people really thought. Like, no. They made this sex tape oh, in private and somebody, somebody actually there. leaked it. It's like, definitely no, people what? out there. It's people that believed her, like believe all of this, that they, she had nothing to do with it. No, nah, I never believed that shit. I was like, hmm, that's strange. No, nah, y'all definitely was in on that shit. You think differently, my man. I mean, like, you just can't be like, oh, here goes a sex tape of me just all around on all these websites and we haven't sued any of these people. Like, no, nah, that's not a thing. You'd be like, I'm going to sue y'all if y'all fucking put that up there. What happened, Chris? Trey Lance doing things, you know, making it work. 
Is he making this money to come back for me? Nope. Uh, slowly. God. Moving on. Moving on. Houston Moving rapper on. Sauce Walker. Moving on. Speaks following attempted that? robbery. Who was this? Sauce Walker. Who was this? Who is that? No idea. Uh, what are we having oh, here for? Okay. Right. What are we, A what resident are we, New Age rap. But no, he was out Google. in California. Uh, apparently somebody tried to rob him or snatch his chain or something like that. Guy ended up getting killed by the guys with uh, Sauce Walker. Mm. So and why are we talking about this? Sauce Walker I think it's crazy killed. that's still a thing that people are trying to just walk up and rob uh, people in broad daylight. Oh, uh, Sauce Wonka. I think that happens like every day. You I do? think it's like, yeah. I don't I didn't know people were walking up to like rappers with their entourage like, hey, I'm just gonna walk up to well, you solo. When you start making it that detail, rappers, well probably not. But I mean, like, I know crime happens every day, but I've never been like, Oh, look at this rapper walking with his entourage. Who's the guy that's like, Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and rob him. It's definitely probably yeah. people. Oh, it's just because it's, it's not you in the world. Then I mean, just because you wouldn't do it, it don't mean like obviously niggas doing it. It's a recession. I don't know about that. I don't think got anything to do with that. They've been doing this for quite a while. I mean, saying, yeah, like, but like you got to think like, even you more be, common now. You grow up in a city and. You know what I'm saying? You blow up and you doing things and some it's people also, that don't rock with you, like, also, yeah, they gonna try to rock you. It's also hate, too. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's hate. hate. Like, yeah. And get some money out the deal. I'm not surprised about it at all. I understand people will try to rob you, steal from you. You got the rappers at shows and they, you know, they buy the crowd, somebody reach up and snatch their chain. But I'm, I'm not, I don't recall the last time we had a story where like this rapper's walking down the street in broad daylight with like his people and somebody walks up to him and try to rob him. I mean, we talked about the boxer Amir Khan who had the shit happen in, uh, yeah. in London when yeah. his wife ran People off. People get robbed. That was kind of a nighttime thing, but this is craziness. Like, what the hell is going on? Bro, but you if also you, didn't. Uh, if you live, if you about that, you don't care about no day or nighttime. I would care about my life. Like, I'm not walking up to you and your entourage solo like, hey, I'm just going to rob all y'all and expect y'all to stand there. Like Maybe that's not a, that's not a one guy that robbed that tried to rob. Apparently, it was one guy. He got killed. He's on a concrete with his black and white dunks on. Nice fucking dunks, by the way. I say that. Nice dunks. Nice dunks. Yeah, he was casket sharp. <laughs> nice. Yeah, dunks. I don't know. I just don't. I like it happens, bro. I'm not. I, shit, I don't fucking know. I don't, yeah, I'm kind of confused a bit at your flabbergastedness over here. When was the last time it happened then? That's what I'm trying I'm to I'm just think. saying, like, people get robbed all no, the time. No, I know crime happens. People get robbed all the time. But how many profile people do you know that are getting robbed? I don't know a whole bunch of profile people. High profile people, yeah. you mean? Oh, I don't know. Like, Kim Kardashian got robbed in Paris, and that was, like, all the news because it was so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm like, it doesn't really happen that often. I think you say people get robbed, but when you think about it, you don't really know, like, high profile people that are getting robbed in broad daylight all the time. Bro. It it happens. Like I don't know how high profile this guy is because I never heard of him. Well, you but, never heard of uh, really young boy either, though. Like you, yeah, but I know he's a little bit. more I know his high. name. Yeah, but I don't know, like, I don't that's know a different name. I've never heard this guy's name before. But I'm like, uh, where you say this dude was from? Houston. Mo three killed in broad daylight. People trying to rob him. Oppo- yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. Um, what's like the other name? Like Pop Mo3. Smoke. People trying was to it, rob But Mo3 was Wasn't he set up by a girl That he was with What I don't know this, Pop smoked somebody Ran into story. his house at night Yeah I'm saying like Niggas don't nobody care That you rich or high profile They want your shit They coming they Yeah to, I understand they that to, They tried to break Into Game's house I understand that too Yeah so, I mean, I'm just saying the part about Like now you like Ran up on people in the street Like that's a crazy thing Yeah That's a crazy thing to me It's a All difference right. between Like I'm a breaking your house Dude, well, FBG I think you sleep and I can get the ups on you and shit. FBG Duck killed Broad Daylight on the most popular street in Chicago. Yeah, he was just like, killed, though. Like, there wasn't nobody trying to... They were just... They out there just killing people in Chicago. Yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah, that's like, terrible. shit yeah. happens out here. Like, I'm not surprised by none of it. So, uh, the dude, Sauce Walker, he did uh, do an Instagram where he talked about, like, rapping is one of the most dangerous professions. Well, yeah, we talked about Which I think we before. talked about before. And... So my question would be: Is it dangerous depending on who you are? Because I never hear like J Cole saying rap is the most dangerous profession. Jim Jones said that, didn't he? Jim Jones said, said rap it. was the most dangerous profession. No, a lot of people have said it, and this guy said it again. I'm like, dude, I hear y'all saying that, but is it just the way that you live in your life? It, it's it's the way that you're doing things because I'm like, when you when you when these young niggas is going to the ops. Gravesite and doing shit and doing all kind of crazy shit. What do you think that's going? What you think that's going to do, man? Let's, when you insinuating that you kill somebody and y'all yeah. deep involved in this gang type shit, that's stupid. But also, you, you just think, keeping a war. Going. But also, if you're a Sasquatch, 
then you don't think that you like Sasquatch. Is that what it's saying? Sauce watching. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Like, Fuck you, Bobby. <laughs> I was so lost. Like, <laughs> my bad. Sasquatch. Anyways, you think you him? You like, man? I'm not no big deal. Like, I'm not this. I'm not J Cole. No, nah, like I so, can walk around here. So, I can hang around. No, nah, everybody got an ego. So if he if he got any type of notoriety, he got an ego. What right, it, it's just what's, the what's, what's the line to the what's the line to the sports rundown? The best in the business because it you, is. You tune got a, in. You got an ego. You got an ego. <laughs> but no matter what other just, people it's know, just like who you are too, though, yeah. and what you what you own. Like J Cole never really came off like he was like this street dude, thug dude. No, you know yeah. what I'm So you don't see these type of things following. Him. J. Cole even got ones, richer I'm about to say, even dressed. the ones that are, though, like, you know, like Kendrick came out. Like, you're like, all right, Kendrick from L.A., yeah. ain't culture, heavy, heavy out there. And he moves different, though. But then you move different. So you have people that move different. But then you're talking about Sauce Walker right here. Like, how much money do you think this dude got? Like, he probably still in the hood. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, though? Yeah, so I mean, it's possible how you move. If you it could be a big rapper. Like, I feel like it's a lot of people what's, what's, be what's big rappers, and we just don't know him because they like you they think like oh, I haven't seen his CD or this and that, so he's not a big rapper. But where, where is he from? Houston. Houston. He might not hit mainstream yet. Or maybe he's he might have been. He might. He, he, maybe he he's mainstream been, in the south. That's shit. what I'm saying. He might be. You know, working his working his leg down there, and he might be about to. He, he might have been on his way. We might have known him. We'll never know now, but. No, he's no, still alive. This dude's alive, bro. Don't kill him off. Oh yeah. shit! My the bad. dude that tried to rob him is dead. Yeah, oh, yeah. he survived. He survived. Bacardi, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> His security did their job. Oh well, that's good. Yeah. So for me, I would say, if you're a rapper, I would aim for more J Cole. I think. I'm not saying like take his lyrics and all that shit, but just the way he can. No, himself. because the way he moved, like when J Cole was coming up, J Cole was. Just like everybody else, jewelry, you know, saying expensive clothes. I don't remember that. I don't remember that phase either. The 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 when he first started. Yeah, new fans. When he first oh, started, like yeah. I remember Come the on. first time I seen J Cole, he had on like a varsity jacket and some like regular shit. I never oh, seen okay, him like. You're that. Describing I was about to say, I remember him like the like, Kanye type shit. Yeah, I never nah, seen him like. like I mean, he, he it was it was it was real quick. But then once he started to ascend even more, the 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 clothing went the other way. Like he just looked. Like he just put on whatever on a Saturday morning. Yeah, I mean, one of his first songs, the first CD was Mr. Nice Watch. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but he's just rapping about having a nice watch. But I've like literally never seen him. I don't think I've ever seen J. Cole with a watch on. Up until, yeah. Like because, he, because he changed. I mean, he has changed. Because he changed. He changed. Yeah, quick. I've I don't, never seen. I, because I think J. Cole did an interview where like, he was just like, I really don't. I don't want to fall in that fame line. He always called himself a B-list celebrity. He he dumbed himself down. And he just went a different path. Like so, when now you see J Cole in a fucking hockey jersey at an NBA All Star game with some sweats rolled up and well, some fucking pumas. Most of the time I see him nowadays, he's like in a t shirt. He's chilling. Cotton shorts yeah, he's on a bike. Chilling. Kendrick Lamar on a wearing bike. Ride through New York yeah. on a bike. Kendrick Lamar wearing fucking karate suits and That's shit. That's what I'm saying. Like he can ride through New York on a bike and nobody's fucking with him. He got security though while he's on his bike. It was a nigga in a suburban behind him. Oh, like yeah. the president? Yeah, like, yeah, like uh, a nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, hey, he's still J. Cole. Bro. My nigga not freelancing, bro. They trying to kidnap him? <laughs> like, like, get close if you want to. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? It's just how you move when you from a certain lifestyle. Like, and you don't necessarily want to give it up. That'd be the thing a lot of times, too. So is it fair to say, like, when we see stuff like this happen, that these guys are inviting this upon themselves? If that's if you want to blame the victim, I guess. I mean, you can always blame a victim. I'm not a big fan of that don't blame the victim shit. That's crazy. That's crazy that you said that. No, because you could do some shit that make you an obvious victim. Like, yeah, you about to be a victim. Huh? If you go if you go in the bar, like, you know what I'm saying, you probably stack a hundred to buy a $10 drink. I'm like, that dude's about to be a victim tonight. Yeah. What Very about true. when the girl wears Very true. nasty... Wow, uh, this, this, this is what you're saying. You know, that's, that's this both, is where he's going with this. You taking it there? This is what he's saying. I'm not saying you a whore. That's what he's saying. What did that Dave Chappelle say? I'm not saying you a whore, but you wearing a whore's outfit. That's so. That's what you are. Man. I, I, that's what Dave Chappelle <laughs> said. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to see the, <laughs> where we at here. <laughs> he got you. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Nah, you out of control. All right, let's move on. Up. I'm pretty much done. Railroad strike. Was, who was that? They wanted to talk about Garen, the railroad Garen. strike? Garen, for the railroad strike. Yes, the railroad's going on strike. 
on the 16th. It'll either be a strike or a lockout. Uh, What's why? the difference? One is where we don't we strike. The other is where they say we locking y'all out of work. Ah. It's a difference without a distinction, honestly. Okay. The, the bottom line is, won't nobody be working? Won't no trains be moving? We don't well, get they'll paid still be moving. Days. Uh, no, you don't get paid. I Ooh. think there might be some strike pay. I don't know. I don't. You know. don't get paid when you go on strike. I don't know if we got strike pay or some <laughs> shit like that somewhere. <laughs> so but why would the company do that? <laughs> Every, so uh, yes, I would be on strike. Everybody has to be on strike. It's not one of those things like, oh, you can just not strike. My nigga walk in with his briefcase yeah. like, I got bills, homie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one of those things where you can just do that. That's not a a, a thing, really. Like, okay. I don't... I think they said the last strike was... And it's not really a long strike. Uh, the last one, I think the actual strike wasn't even two days. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, y'all starting this strike on a Friday. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> well, that's just when the thirty. Uh, so we had a thirty-day cooling off period from the last president. Work out a whole week. <laughs> like, yeah, y'all going to on strike on Friday, man. Let's make sure that Monday through Thursday stuff yeah. done. You feel me? <laughs> I'm gonna bust my ass all week because I'm going on strike on Friday. Yeah, basically. But no, so the strike is because strike they on don't. <laughs> you, so the thing is, there's a law, the okay. uh, Railway Labor Act, I think it is, mm-hmm. and it tells us like what we can do and what we can go on strike. Mm-hmm. So by this law, they had a presidential board that has some recommendations, and then the you can't strike or do any self help for thirty days after that. Oh, so I mean, you really can't strike. It's a law. It's for railroaders and uh, air traffic controls. I think it is. Mm. So that law, the 30 days is up, 1201, September 16th, which is Friday. So, yes, the railroad will be on strike. So you're going to be off. That's a nigga birthday, too. You got to go stand on the line. No, I don't. I don't. So they're not striking at my, I guess I could, but at my location where I work at, they're not picking at that location. I'm going to come out there. Yeah, everybody can be at home. We don't. I mean, I where, where you gonna be to at? Go out there. No, you don't have to go out there. But if they ask me, I would. Where you if gonna, I just wanted to, would, I would you stand in front of a train? There's like, not no. gonna be a train to stand in front of. Like, where, no. where, where you gonna be at on September 16th? I'll be at home. Oh. I mean, that's so what I you, plan on doing now. If they say, like, oh, we all going to be down here. I'll go down there. You need me to loan you I was going to be out bit. there. I'll go out there with you. This is my birthday. I can't with y'all. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no goddamn party. <laughs> y'all drinking, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're going to pick it uh, probably one of the big yards or something like that. If there is a, a You need a loan? No, nah, I saved up for a strike. Oh, man. okay. Yeah. Even though I know it's only going to be two days, I still saved, like, just in case. So just you two days? Will, you I don't understand what two days is going to What is two days Possible. Gonna? Well, so what it is is when you go on strike as the railroad, Congress has the power to say, hey, we're going to uh, do some shit and y'all can't strike no more. So they'll say, hey, here's y'all new contract. So go back to uh, work. So, so they see y'all holding out like Lamar Jackson. Yeah, no, basically. He's, he's working today. No, basically. no, I'm just saying. He could if he wanted to hold out. Basically, they had, they had contract negotiations Forever, I think our contract was up in like 2019 or some shit, 2020. So they've been negotiating contracts since that long, and they still haven't came to an agreement. So yeah, Garen, stock up on toilet paper, man. Did I see that Nike? Deli- Nike like it's shipment some Nike, that got it's some Nike sack? toilet paper coming out. Oh no, a Nike shipment got stop, hit. Stop, stop. You, you buy Nike uh, toilet paper, thousand dollars worth of uh, Did you shoes. See that? Yeah. Like they was boy, they was selling everything. <laughs> Uh, I mean, posted online too. That was a crazy. Yeah, part. they had everything: white and red Elevens. Yeah, they had some heat. No shit. Yeah, I mean, Damn. he he posted his Instagram. Hit him up. Damn, he's probably a cop now because he definitely got caught for that bullshit. Of course. Anywho, anywho, I have oh UPS is probably going on strike too. The world's fucked. UPS going on strike? They're talking about going on strike. Their truck drivers next for- Friday. Not next Friday, but uh, I think they're striking for better work conditions or something. As long as they deliver my drone before they go on strike, I don't know. That is a a necessity. I don't know if they're gonna do it. I need this estimate back so I can get my (laughs) like. What we doing? I don't think they're talking about striking for some time, but yeah, yeah. Make sure after this, support union labor. There you go. Mic drop. There you have it. Words of wisdom, Johnny. I miss being in the union. Trader. Nah, couldn't pass up that uh that promotion. I can't believe these funky hoes right Come on, now, man. 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 Just stay forward, man. No, nah, Chris, man. Young, man, I sports can't believe rundown. y'all. The sports bro, Rundown is canceled. The it's out of here. I'm going to be sad. All right. Words of wisdom this week. Words Don't bet wisdom, on the though. fucking Niners. Come on, man. Nah. We running it back with Rube Star again this week. 
Shout out to Roofstar for making my work easy. I think I got a whole list over here. Oh, okay. I wish I could outsource my job. Yeah. Let's just let's just say Roofstar is gonna be writing the the words. She ghost writing the words for, for, the, for, the, <laughs> for the next foreseeable future. Because like, this nigga got a list. He ain't gonna do shit. I ain't, I'm, I'm not writing, deviating the world. from it. Nah, I know you're right. Johnny's words of wisdom, right here. Allegedly, be weird. Johnny Star. Be happy. Be grateful. Be positive. Be open minded. Mic drop. One more time. Be weird. Mm-hmm. We can all agree. Be, with weird. That. Okay. be yeah. happy. We are be nervous. grateful. Be positive. Be open minded. I'll be being grateful all the time. I don't need to be saying thank sure you half the don't. time. Boy, she's talking straight to you. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. She's talking to your Touch soul. Touch my heart. Yeah. To your soul. Thank you for the cup. Facts. Appreciate oh. the cup right there. Shut up. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, my nigga's going to be upset. Crit. Oh my god Take a cigarette This might save me In a couple of nah. new parlays I ain't gonna lie to you I need a cigarette <laughs> Oh man It is Things are changing around here Hey just leave the TV on My nigga video. Justin Gonna be upset If they lose by one point To the same Leave the TV on <sighs> God dang Alright man Get us up out of here We up out of here man Bye Alright Subscribe and vibe on YouTube We on the road to 1k man We like 45 Like 55 spots left You know what I'm saying Get up in there man We might do something For the thousand subscriber You know what I'm saying Niggas trying to take a pee break Cause they sad Nigga hurt <laughs> Nigga face crying Dick run, Everything See y'all later Oh in one <laughs> Couldn't be the Chiefs <laughs> Subscribe and vibe Ladies and gentlemen Tell a friend Tell a friend And tell your mama We about to Hey tune into the sports rundown <laughs>